online classes this is primary science class 5 dear children today we are going to discuss that is reproduction by plant parts page 8 some plants like banana and ferns can reproduce without seeds so some of the plants like banana and ferns they have and they reproduce okay without seed without seed they can reproduce new plants they can they grow from different parts of the plant such as from stem leaf and root so this kind of plants they can grow or they can uh, develop from stem leaf and root okay now let us we discuss about stem what that it means stem stem means uh, so dear children i would like to show you what it means stem so this is the grass i have brought for you okay so in one place you can see here in one place it has come out from one one this is a uh, one shoot this is one shoot here also one shoot here also one shoot like that and stem means this is the flower plant i have brought for you so so this is the plants i have plucked okay so this this is called stem okay this is called stem now you understood what is stem and uh, shoots so now let us we discuss from book part stem see the common grass in a lawn the stem of grass runs along the ground okay the stem here you see the grass okay the stem are running okay it is runs along the ground okay now roots roots and shoots grow from the stem at short distance okay i have uh, shown you the what is stem and what is uh, shoots okay they grow okay from this uh, they grow from the stem at short distance thus forming new plants again they form new plants such plants are called runners okay such plants are called ranas because they grow in uh, one plus two another plus again another plus two another plus they grow okay some plants reproduce by bulls okay a bulb is uh, a stem that is surrounded by leaves okay surrounded by leaves the leaves store food for the plants okay this leaves uh, store for the food for the plant the plant then sends up shoots this plant sent to the shoot the food is used by the shoots an example is the lily you have seen the lily plant this is the example a potato can reproduce itself by growing roots from a specialized part of its body okay a potato is an underground stem which has boobs called eyes on its surface every piece having a bird is able to produce a new plant such plants are called tubers okay now you see the potato okay this is the potato so when you plant this potato in on the ground okay this is you see this is the from here this part again it will reproduce okay this is the root we can say about this uh, potato okay this is the potato you see nicely if you keep at home also this potato three four days then it will come out this root okay now let us we discuss about leaves okay 
Brifilium is a plant whose leaves have buds on their margins. When leaves are detached or touch the soil, the buds produce small new plants. This is you see the um, Brifilium plants. Okay, this is the margin. You can see this is the margin. From there again. And this uh, buds is coming out, okay? This buds is coming out. This buds, when it touches the ground, again there, again new plants will come out. Now, let us uh, root will uh, discuss. Some roots also help in reproduction. Uh, roots of sweet potato. You have uh, eaten sweet potato. I hope you have eaten this uh, sweet potato and you have seen also. Asparagus and dahlia, when separated from the parent plant, can grow into a new plant. Okay, this uh, sweet potato, asparagus, and uh, dahlia, this kind of plants, when they are separated from the parent plants, and uh, they can reproduce the new plant. Okay, so dear children, so today we will study this much. Thank you for watching this video.